Hey everybody and welcome back to my kitchen or welcome if you are new. My name is Bethany or Budget Bethany and I like to share these lots for dinners every single week in hopes to give y'all some meal ideas or some inspiration to cook at home for your family as well. This week I'm going to be sharing four super easy weeknight dinners with y'all. Kicking off this week, we're going to have a sausage brunch, which is breakfast for dinner. So to start with, I'm just browning up some ground sausage. So while my ground sausage was browning, I mixed together about a cup and a half of milk and about five eggs. But of course, you could add more or less if you like it really eggy. You can add a few more. And then I added in about two handfuls of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm going to add some more on top in just a little bit, y'all. But right now, we sprayed our bacon pans and then I added in crescent rolls to the bottom. You know, one package per um, bacon pan and then I added on top of that my ground sausages once it was browned up and then I added in the egg mixture on top of that and I just kind of evenly spread it among the two bacon pans um, you could mix a little bit and then pour it over on top and then mix some more and add it on there but I figured I'd just go ahead and mix it all together and just dump that mess right on top so once I got it all added on top I sprinkled on some more of the shredded cheddar cheese and then I just popped it in the oven on 350 for about 25 30 minutes and then here is how it looked once it came out I did make two because I was feeding an extra few mouths that night and then I just had some hash browns for the side and that was dinner for this night for the next night, we had deer chili or venison chili, whichever one y'all like to call it. Around here, we call it deer, ground deer. So I'm just going to add two pounds of ground deer meat into my pan, and I'm going to brown that up as you would ground beef. It's the same. It works the same. It tastes a little bit different, but you cook it the same way as you would ground beef. So as you can see, it's browning up in my pan nicely. And then once it does get all browned up, I'm going to add in two cans of chili beans and then two cans of pork and beans. If you've never tried pork and beans in your chili, you've got to try the Van Camps in tomato sauce. And then I'm also going to add in a can of petite diced tomatoes. But anyway, obviously my meat is all browned up, so I'm just going to start adding in all of these cans of whatever's. Then once I got everything added, I did use one of the cans and just filled it up with water and poured that in there as well. Then we're going to start seasoning it up. I know a lot of people like to season their meat, but I like to season mine at the end once I've got everything added. That way everything gets good and seasoned. So as you can see, I'm adding in some minced onion. I'll add some garlic powder and I'll also add some chili O's, chili seasoning. Um, Kristen Stepp uses this a lot in her What's for Dinners whenever she makes chili and she swears by it. So I wanted to give it a try and I will say it's really good and it did make the chili taste a lot better than it normally would if I just use like a great value chili pack or something like that. It gives it a little bit more flavor. So I do recommend it as well. It was really nice. It was really good and I'll be using it again in the future. But here's how my chili looked once it was all simmered and ready to eat. So I just plated it up in a bowl and I added a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese and a little bit of sour cream to the top as well as some salt and pepper and that was dinner for that night. Alright, so moving right along but still keeping it super easy and simple for ourselves, we're going to make a ranch green bean chicken potato sheet pan dinner. That was a lot to say y'all, but anyway, all you'll need of course is some chicken, some potatoes, and some green beans. You could use fresh green beans or canned green beans. I'm going to be using the can, and of course you could use whatever kind of chicken you prefer, but I'm going to be using some chicken legs. So right here, I'm just peeling my potatoes and then I'm going to wash them and dice them up. And then here I am just popping in to say hello. I feel like I always just show y'all my arms and y'all never actually see my face. So I wanted to kind of give y'all a little smile and say hello. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was weird, but I felt like doing it. So now all our potatoes are diced up. We're going to get ready to start assembling our sheet pan dinner. So to start with, we've got our chicken legs on there and we're going to season them up with whatever kind of seasonings that you prefer. But I'm going to be using these seasonings that I'm sharing with you right now. So we're just going to sprinkle that on there and then we'll add our potatoes and our green beans. It seems 
seasonings like no matter how much I try to be easy and not make a mess I always get seasonings everywhere every time I use seasonings so as you can see I've added my potatoes onto the sheet pan as well as my can of green beans also for the potatoes and the green beans I did not do all these other seasonings that I shared that I put on the chicken I just put salt and pepper and then I'm going to put the little ranch packet so I did drizzle on some olive oil first then went in with the salt and pepper and then I'll go in with the ranch packet and I think I only used about half of that ranch packet And then once I had everything sprinkled with that ranch powder, I just went in with a spoon and kind of stirred it around a little bit to make sure that everything was getting coated. Then I just popped in the oven on 350 for about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, I would say. But I did do an hour just to make sure that my chicken was cooked thoroughly and my potatoes were good and soft. But here's how it looked once it was done. All right, y'all, so moving into the final dinner for this week, we're going to be making a baked spaghetti with garlic bread or toast on the side. So right here in my pan, I've got a pound of venison, ground venison or ground deer, whichever one you call it, and I'm going to cook it just like I would if I was cooking ground beef. So I just got it in the pan, browning up. I'm going to cut up some onion and throw that in there as well. I normally do not cook a lot with onion just because my husband doesn't really care for onions, but I did chop up a few onions and throw in there in this time because I just love onions in my spaghetti. And then of course I've got to season up my meat. So to season it up, I'm going to use some onion powder, some minced onion, and some Italian seasoning, as well as some minced garlic. But of course you could use whatever kind of seasonings that you prefer. Once I had all of the meat browned up and everything like that, I went in with the spaghetti sauce. And I'm just using the Great Value brand, like traditional. But of course, you could use whatever kind of spaghetti sauce you prefer. It doesn't matter. Just whatever you like. It's to your taste. And then I'm going to go in with a block of cream cheese. It's the Philadelphia kind. But you could also use like the Great Value brand. And just kind of let that melt down in your sauce. And let that simmer on low for a little while while your spaghetti noodles are boiling. So once your noodles are done, you'll just layer some of that sauce in the bottom of your pan. Go in with your spaghetti noodles. And then just pour in the rest of your spaghetti sauce sauce mix it up really well um, sprinkle on some mozzarella cheese on top and maybe even some parmesan cheese if you have that I don't think I do that on this night I went in with a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese it's so hard for me to say that as well as some mozzarella cheese and just bake that on 350 for about 20 minutes basically just melting your cheese and this is how it'll look once it's all done I also baked some um, Texas toast and that was dinner for this night all right, y'all, that's it for this week's What's for Dinner video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please don't forget to leave me a big old thumbs up before you leave and subscribe if you're not already because I would really love for you to join my YouTube family. I do like to post a new What's for Dinner every single week. I don't have a certain day that I post it on. I just pick a day. Usually it's going to be Friday or Sunday. That just works best with my schedule. But I do have a new What's for Dinner every single week. And if you want to keep up with me, you can check me out over on Instagram at BudgetBethany3. I usually post a lot of updates over there and more of my day-to-day -day life. But I love y'all. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye y'all.